today I want to show you how to make this dish that's called shredded chicken over rice. It's a very authentic Taiwanese street food. You're gonna go to any night market in Taiwan, you're gonna see this food. Growing up in Taiwan, I love this dish. So when I moved to the US, I decided I'm gonna learn how to make this dish for my kids. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this dish really simple but really authentic. Okay, for this dish, we're gonna need some ginger. Just two or three thin slices is fine. And then we're gonna need a couple of green onions. Finally, slice it. We just need the flavor of it, so the shape of it is not so important. We're gonna need some of these pickled daikon later for garnish. Thinly slice it. Also, the cilantro garnish. We're also gonna need some star anise for flavor and this dry fried shallots. You can do it yourself by frying the shallots, but you can also buy it at the store. Some salt, some soy sauce for flavor and for color. Most important thing, that's the chicken breast. We are gonna get the skin on, bone in chicken breast for a reason. We need the bone for this quick sauce to add more depth for flavor. And we need the skin on because we actually want the fat underneath the skin. Make sure we kind of lift up the skin. See, there's this fat over there that is the yumminess. If you don't like chicken fat, you can use some other fat to you know, substitute it, but this is where the flavor comes from. It's very easy when you peel it off and you just kind of gently go through with your knife. It's okay if you got a little meat on top of it, that's fine. Because the chicken breast sometimes can get really thick and it's harder to make it cook through. So we can just kind of slice it to make it thinner. But remember we want the bone because that adds flavor into the sauce. We're just gonna take the chicken fat out and chop it finer. It doesn't have to be really small and fine, but then you kind of want it to be in a smaller pieces. So when you render it, it comes out evenly so you're not burning any big pieces before all the fats rendered out. Now we're ready to cook! So first we're gonna heat up this um, saucepan and we're gonna put in some oil to heat it up. About one tablespoon is good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sear um, the chicken breast real quick. It doesn't have to be super hot. We just want it to seal everything, the flavor inside the chicken breast before we start cooking and simmering it. See, now the color's changed. Here's the second one. Gonna add in the ginger and the green onion. Now we're gonna turn the heat low because we're gonna add in the star anise and the star anise actually can burn easily, so you want to make sure the heat is low. We put in our chicken breast back in. We're gonna add in the chicken broth. About two cups, just to cover the chicken breast. Now we're gonna turn on the heat, so it boil. Meanwhile, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of soy sauce this is just to add the color, so it looks a little like brownish. And a little bit salt. This fried shallots, the flavor is so much more intense than when it is fresh. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon in. Now we're just gonna bring it to boil and let it simmer for 10 minutes and then flip sides for another 10 minutes. Okay, now it's 10 minutes, so we're just gonna flip it. And then let it simmer for 10 more minutes. Now it's done. We just need to take the chicken out. Turn the heat off. The smell is amazing. Take this out and let it cool before you can hand pull it to shred the chicken. Because we're putting ginger, spring onions, so many ingredients to flavor this broth, so we're gonna filter them out, we're gonna drain it into another pot. These are so yummy. I used to pick this out to eat when I was a kid. Since my mom's gonna throw it away anyways, these are so flavorful. Now we're gonna let it sit 
and we're gonna render the chicken fat. To render the chicken fat, we need to add in some oil first to get it started. The truth is, if you really have a problem with chicken fat, you probably can use bacon fat. Spread the chicken fat evenly in the pot so there will be no part that's burned. You want to stir occasionally so nothing gets burned and then you make sure the heat is low. If the heat cannot be lower and you think your fat is burning, move the pot, okay? Think out of the box. You want to be patient. You cannot speed this up. Otherwise, you get burned fat that has this burnt taste and then you ruin everything. Now you can see the fat is getting golden brown. You want to stop right there, turn the heat off. While it's sitting, we're gonna shred our chicken. Grab a piece of meat and just shred it thin. We're gonna later put it on top of the rice. This is not a fancy dish, but I think this labor cost intensive, right? So this is what makes this dish special because it's full of love. You have to shred every single chicken. Now we cleaned up a little bit, so we can just go back to the sauce. We're just gonna take out these fat. Now we have the chicken fat, we have the sauce. We just need to get some rice and then start assembling. Before we start, we're gonna heat up the fat again and the sauce. Because the sauce, it's pretty light flavored, even though it's really good, it's very subtle. So we have to put in a lot of sauce on the rice to make it taste good and it makes the rice too soggy. So when you make this, remember, a thin layer of rice is key. And then on top of that, you want to add in this love touched chicken, shredded chicken on top. And then you would want some cilantro on the side. I'm just showing you how the night market do it. And then a couple of these pickled daikon. I'm going to pour just a tiny little bit, maybe a teaspoon of the fat. Just tiny. Get the sauce. A tablespoon. Alright, now we're done assembling this dish. This is just gonna be exactly like what you get in the night market. It's gonna be the shredded chicken on top of the rice and the chicken's gonna taste very tender and juicy because it's in the broth, steam and cook for 20 minutes. And then the sauce itself is spiced up with the star anise and then the green onion, ginger, soy sauce and that flavorful dry fried shallots. And then we also have the chicken fat on top of it. Now we're done assembling this dish. This is gonna be exactly like what you get in the night market in Taiwan. As authentic as it can be. The most important pickled daikon gives you this extra texture, the crunchiness of each bite of this rice. Now I think it's time to dig in and give it a try. Mm. You gotta make sure you have a bite of this brings back childhood memory. This is a dish when you want to start it, you cannot stop. Mm, so good. It's refreshing, it's light, it's flavorful. You should totally give it a try. Hey, you're still watching. You like me. That's good! Just click like and subscribe for more amazing content and check out my website at chachasqueendon.com Thank you!